guys, how's it going? It's your boy Hatfree Speaks. About to go get it in today with Queen. Uh, the song is called Hero. Okay, so before I do begin, I want to thank Deborah S for putting this request through onto me on Patreon. And guys, if you are interested in supporting the channel, there is a link below in the description box as per all my reactions and how you can do that. So I'll be adjusting a few things uh, through time in terms of perks and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's there. Nobody's obligated, but uh, I want to thank everyone that has uh somewhat click the link and, and support the channel in in that way so again anyway giving the video a like giving it a share even a comment goes a long way all right so hope everyone's well today and yeah we're going to progress forward you know the show must go on as they say and this song i believe is taken from the movie uh, the flash flash or something like that so it's the movie version of the song all right so i've got no idea what this is about again going into this blind as i've been saying from the start of my reactions okay and what does that mean it literally means that okay uh so anyway let's jump in and guys if you haven't already please make sure you do hit that subscribe button notification bell give this video a like give it a share because we're about to jump in today with hero the movie version all right here we go go back a bit i like the way this started just a clash of sounds considering what's been to re uh, what i've reacted to already which was um heaven for everyone uh in the lap of gods this is a complete different uh switch up i'd say a switch up a change up uh i might be doing a reaction to uh the he heaven from everyone perhaps the original version uh in due course okay but anyway this uh sound the sound here is really color colorful. That's what I'm going to say. Colorful. It's just in your face. And as per, I think, you know, obviously it's for the movie, but they're not holding back. You know what I mean? What I found uh, with most of the Queen music, it, there's a there's a steady build up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes there's kind of a build up and then you get the night. Well, somewhere in the song, you, you'll get a, a, a movement towards a uh, feeling. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, for example, who wants to live forever? You know what I mean? That kind of thing builds it, you know, builds up emotionally, and then you just kind of like torn apart. But here again, it just it's just straight in your face. Wham bam, this is what you get. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're gonna jump back in. <laughs> gonna go back a bit the the this, this i told i said it before this the sound it's so in your face it's so loud and 
you know, you've got the vocals from Freddie coming in. It's just so diluted. That's what I'm going to use. You heard it here first. Diluted with the, the clash of the instruments coming through. Uh, the only comment I'd make is if this movie, I guess it was released post Highlander. And that was probably the time when um, I guess those synthesizers, the special kind of sound effects you'd get through. You know what I'm saying? Um, bands would be using them. You know what I'm saying? To get that kind of disco sound. But here, in this song, I've not heard any of that stuff. Right? This pretty much sounds 70s. You know what I'm saying? I, c I could be off the mark here. You could be saying to me, Hat Free Speaks, this is... This actually, the song is from the 70s, from the movie. Okay, perhaps. I just don't get that vibe. I'm not getting any electro kind of beat into in this song. And yeah, I'll be honest. It's, 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 just, it's just really throwing me off. Awesome, but not something I'd expect from something called The Hero. <laughs> you expect something a bit more... You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this, this definitely... I guess if you're really into rock and roll, this song is good for you. You think, yeah, this song is The Hero for me. Because it's really, really rock and roll. It's really uh, raw. That's the way we use it. It's really raw, gritty. It has this like element of the dirtiness that needs to be clean in a good way. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, the bad kid who you know can be good, but just needs a little bit of nurturing. That's the element of like of this song. You know what I'm saying? It's it's there. It's it's definitely there. But did not expect this. We're going to go back. I was just saying about the sound and obviously it got loud. And then the special effects, I heard a laser gun. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, hey, man, you could never. I've said it before. You don't know what to expect from Queen. You Just when you think, oh, OK, this is what it sounds like. There you go. They throw it in, in the mix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this. See, it's getting. Flash. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew something was coming up. I never heard this before. <laughs> How did we go from that to this? Ah, sneaky. That was sneaky, guys. That was absolutely sneaky. But we come to expect it. We come to expect it. This is what makes the music so good as well. We're going to go back. And uh, the middle part of the song, when I paused it earlier on, I'm not going to go all the way back, guys. I do value your time. And I appreciate you guys uh, watching. So I'm going to make this very brief. I stopped it. And uh, the laser gun uh, remark I made, Around that point, you could hear the dun, 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 coming up and then it stopped and it came back again and it went into that. I didn't know this was part of the song. I thought Flash ah, was a different 
song all together. So I guess it's in the same part. Okay, we're going to jump back in. Yeah, okay. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> crossed my mind what crossed my mind was how did these four guys get along you know what I mean <laughs> I just started tripping about their solo work afterwards uh, like obviously when Freddie departed he, he, he released Mr. Bad Guy and then he released songs like Living On My Own yo man that was a complete U-turn to what Queen were kind of building up you know what I mean that kind of uh, quote unquote legacy kind of vibe Freddie comes out with Mr. Bad Guy think about it for a second and then i was watching a bit of a, a youtube clip about um the bohemian rhapsody biopic there was a, supposed to be another actor from the uk sachin conan i believe uh got dropped all right you can go youtube it what happened and the reasons why uh but to be honest with you um i remember seeing the original uh the the, the bohemian rhapsody biopic uh, on a, uh when i was on the plane once and it was just on i've never watched it again all right um Maybe I should, but I think, and I, this is just my two cents. I, I think if if Sacha Conan was still, he should have been the actor. He should have been the actor. Okay, he should have been. <laughs> because he has he has a real real good resemblance physically as well, and we've seen the characters he can play. Bara, uh, he did uh, freaking what was that thing he did in America? This is America, something, Wake Up America. Uh, he did uh, Ali G. He's in a bunch of like characters. And he, yo, I mean, he wanted to bring out everything to do with Freddie Mercury in that movie. There's difference of opinions, but yeah, I, I think, I think, you know, I was just started tripping about the, their solo work and how uh, perhaps, you know, you, you have so many personalities, you have like four people, predominantly three, very strong personalities okay very strong i'm talking about roger freddie and, and brian very strong uh musically as well no roger brian and freddie right john from you guys what you've been telling me he was a bit more uh, sh shy i guess he still contributed but i'm saying like he was more quiet he's one of the quiet members of, of the group you know never getting involved in, in the in the bickering and all that good stuff but them three together and i'm just wondering like how you know first of all if you know this whose idea was it to start doing solo work i mean this is while the band was still alive you know what i'm saying so was it like freddie mercury gets diagnosed it's like, okay i got this amount of time to live i'm gonna start doing my own thing all right me too i'm gonna start doing my own thing as well yeah i'm gonna start doing my own thing as well okay was it like that was it more like hmm was it like hey i, I really want to express myself this way with this song well you can't do it underneath the queen brand all right i'm gonna start doing it called mr bad guy then you guys ask for it i'm gonna give it to you don't blame me for the outcome <laughs> you know what i'm saying so anyway yeah it's just one of those things i just i was pondering about it like it's a, it's a musical thing it's interesting it's like the beatles and at some point they start going off doing solo projects like okay and they get to express it 
I think the way Freddie Mercury approached his solo work was like, this is an extension of my personality. Maybe that's what he wanted to express. You know, this is an extension of my personality, the music I want to do and explore. And I'm, yeah, I'm sure it was the same for Dr. Brian May and Roger Taylor uh, as well. But it's hmm, just an interesting thought. Anyway, so I'm off. I've got to get going. Make sure you are staying safe. Thank you so much for putting this request through. through and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.